Good morning and welcome to St. Ambrose. As a reminder today, we're celebrating Mission Sunday. There will be a special second collection taken up um, immediately after communion this morning. Our opening song is number 148, Yezu, Yezu, 148. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Mission Sunday is uh, really no. It's on. It's on. I just need to talk louder. Okay then. Now I know. Mission Sunday is a worldwide celebration of the missionary spirit of the church. Uh, 11 years ago, uh, just before Father Dominic was ordained a priest, he was a deacon, you were a deacon then or no? Preparing to be a deacon. Um, Bishop Bradley and Father John Peter and I went over to visit um, our friend, his bishop, Dominic. And uh, anyway, uh, Bishop Dominic invited Bishop Bradley to preach, <coughs> sort of at the last minute, uh, but he was able to talk about how um, in previous days, missionaries had come to Africa to bring the message of hope, that is the gospel. And now um, the Africans are coming to us. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. It's, we're all in this. Well, let us ready our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries by acknowledging our own need for healing and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the word of guidance and hope for the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way that leads to the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life and food for our journey. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life, and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, he shall see the light in fullness of days. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your mercy be on 
from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. of Zebedee came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink, or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, We can. Jesus said to them, 
the cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right or at my left is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became angry at James and John. Jesus summoned them and said to them, You know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be the first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. during this 29th Sunday, which is also World Mission Sunday. And our theme of reflection is greatness through service. Now on the uh, 20th day of January in the year 1961, <clears throat> Uh, the 35th President of the United States, who was he? J.F. Kennedy. So that was his day of uh, inauguration. And uh, in his inaugural speech, he had this to say. The world is very different now. A time to make the long desired difference has finally dawned. I make this noble appeal from the depths of my heart. You Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. There's a very powerful statement there on service, service to the nation rather than being, being served. Now, during this 29th Sunday, the Lord is reminding us that the key to greatness is service. And we all have, uh, we all have the power in us to do good for the other. I'm not sure whether you have ever uh, asked yourself, why do you have two hands? Why do you have two? I think you can make do with one, right? But why? Why do we have two? So you have two hands. One is to serve yourself, and the other one is to serve the other person. So the more you serve, the greater you are. The readings this weekend highlight that those who, uh, those who become Jesus' disciples are to become servants. And this is modeled by uh, the example of Jesus who came to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. So whereas Jesus is contemplating the wood of the cross, which is a symbol of movement from self to others, the disciples are stuck on the chair to sit on the right, on the right and or the other one on the left, which is a symbol of political power and domination. Jesus sees his death 
as a loving service. And he teaches that maturity in discipleship involves drinking from his cup and undergoing his baptism. Now in this way, the disciples would learn the art of denying the self for the, great, for the greater goal of establishing the kingdom of God. Now that world view of Jesus uh, turns things upside down uh, for Christians. Those who are part of the kingdom of God serve others with love and commitment, while the rulers of this world dominate, dictate, and divide. The first reading today from the book of, uh, of the prophet Isaiah tells us of the suffering uh, servant of Yahweh. Though sinless, this servant is destined to be reckoned among sinners, thereby justifying them by taking to himself their guilt. And because he voluntarily offered himself up to suffer in their place, the suffering servant is to receive his portion among the great. And, now, and through Jesus, we heard from the second reading, we can now approach the throne of grace in order to receive mercy and help since Jesus became one with the human family and is able to sympathize with us. His self-emptying gathered the weak and sinful humanity around the throne of God. He gave us an example to get out of our ego and move towards others in a spirit of sacrifice. So in the new community of Jesus, leadership must be a service, not a means of self-glorification or exploitation. Today also is World Mission Sunday. And uh, today the church invites us to reflect on our personal response to the mission of Christ. It is a call to re revitalize our faith and rededicate ourselves to Christ. It is also a day to show special solidarity to all true missionaries who have responded to Christ's command. Go and make disciples of all nations. So our Lord is counting on us, the church, to be his hands and feet, to be his instruments in passing on the good news to the world. He is calling us to offer witness of the transforming power that comes through believing and following him. <coughs> so mission is service and sacrifice rendered in love for the salvation of all nations. And this love comes with patience and docility to the will of God. It begins by transforming us into great instruments for the salvation of others. So today, Christ teaches us that to be great is to be ready to serve and to make sacrifice for others. Pope Francis offered uh, offer us a theme which you will find in the bulletin today uh, for this year's uh, World Mission Sunday, which is rooted in the Gospel according to Matthew. Remember the, uh, the wedding feast prepared and those who are invited not come. And, uh, the servants are sent, go and invite everyone to the banquet. So that is the theme uh, for this year's Mission Sunday. So it reflects on the inclusive and urgent call to bring God's love to everyone. All of us can participate in one way or the other. We can participate through offering our prayers uh, for the success of the mission of Christ.
for the world. We also do so through our, uh, our donations, like today we have the second collection to help those areas where the gospel has not reached or they are struggling. And then also, we are called to make use of the opportunities available to serve our brothers and sisters. So as we think of the people in Mongolia, we also begin right here. So we have uh, a lot of opportunities to serve our brothers and sisters, and that is also mission. So let us remember today, if you forget everything, just remember this line. The more you serve, the greater you are. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's stand together now. Deliberately, prayerfully, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Who was born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through whom all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was confirmed with the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified and touched his God. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He is then into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of God and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us bring our prayers now before the Lord, confident of his love for us. that the church may be emboldened by God in spreading her message of salvation to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those who have turned from God may receive from him the grace of conversion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That members of this Eucharistic community may be given the grace to serve others and pour out our lives in love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have passed into eternal rest may see the face of God in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of those who have asked us to pray for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sister diocese in Ladwar, Kenya, and our sister parish in Guatemala, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Kathy Hageman, Matthew Paul Carrier, Father James O'Leary, Maria Zuniga, and Patricia Thompson, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now let us call upon our Blessed Mother and her intercession for us. Our 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray to Christ our Lord. Amen. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. <coughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, mm -hmm. by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Ambrose, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and Savior's command, formed by Jesus' own divine teaching, and in a thoughtful way, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer one another some sign of peace. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my heart, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Our communion song is number 805, Our Blessing Cup. 805.
On Saturday, November 2nd, the Memorial of All the Faithful Departed Mass will be celebrated in the mausoleum of Mount Olivet Cemetery for the deceased loved ones of all those present for the Mass. The Mass will begin at 10 a.m. Kathy Hageman was born and raised here in St. Ambrose Parish. She has served our parish in a variety of ways as lector, sacristan, extraordinary minister of Holy Communion, among other ministries. She has been a member of the parish staff for several years. Kathy was called home by the Lord sometime last Saturday night. Her funeral mass was celebrated here on Thursday, October 17th. Thank you to the many volunteers who helped us with Kathy's funeral. Your generous contributions of your time, treasure, and talent always help lighten the burden of grief on family members and are greatly appreciated. We are blessed by all of you. May God bless us all. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Our closing song is number 401, Lead Me, Guide Me, 401.